Hey guys, Steve here from Nostalgia. Putting this video together because I had a few people send me PMs uh, about the last video I had put up regarding video splash screens. They're running older versions of RetroPie, I think 4.1 or before, 4.2 or before, and they were having some trouble with the video itself in, in the playback. Uh, they were having some issues with the video cutting out, it getting a little bit glitchy, not functioning properly, the playback itself was not what the source of video file should have been. So I went ahead and I uploaded an older build that I had on my computer onto an SD card and threw that into my Raspberry Pi so I could kind of see what was going on. Uh, and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to restart my Raspberry Pi. I'm going to show you guys some of the problems that they're having. And then after that, I'm going to show you guys how to fix it. So just give me one second here while I restart my Raspberry Pi. All right, here we go. Okay, so as you guys could see, there was a big cut between the Sony and the Pi Station screens. Uh, and also after the Pi Station screen came on, there was a little rotating disc that kind of looked like a loading disc in the bottom right hand corner. That did not appear for as long as it should in the source video. And there was also a pretty big gap after that before you got into the main menu. So I didn't have any glitch out issues, but I could certainly see that there's a lot of problems with that. Uh, the solution is actually really really easy. So you can do the fix one of two ways uh, You can either connect in right through your Raspberry Pi with a physical keyboard uh, and go right into the terminal by pressing F4 Or if you want to use SSH to get in you can use putty on your desktop as long as your Raspberry Pi is connected to the same network as your computer uh, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to just connect in directly on my Raspberry Pi with a keyboard So I'm gonna go ahead and press F4 and that's gonna load up into the terminal. Now, one thing I wanna mention here is that depending on which version of Raspberry Pi you're using, the code that you're gonna use is gonna be slightly different. On older versions, uh, I think 4.1 and older, you're gonna be using what I'm gonna do in this video. On 4.2 and newer, there's a different line of text. It's only one single command. I will put it on screen for you guys as well so you can still follow along in this tutorial. But uh, again, if you're using 4.2, you're gonna need to use the alternate text which I display on screen and I will, I will verbally say what it is as well. But in my case, what I need to do is type in sudo space nano space forward slash etc forward slash init dot d forward slash a splash screen. Uh, so sudo nano forward slash etc forward slash init dot d forward slash a splash screen. If you are using 4.2 or newer, you may need to use sudo space nano space forward slash opt forward slash retropy forward slash sorry forward splash forward slash supplementary forward slash splash screen forward slash a splash screen dot sh but in my case i'm going to be using the first command so i'm going to hit enter and that's going to take you into a text file both commands depending on which version of retropie you're using will take you to the same text screen they just updated the location of it in the newer versions so you're going to scroll down you can see my flashing cursor on the left hand side i'm slowly moving down you want to go down about 40 or so lines and there is a line right here that says OMX player, and then dash O, then both dash B space dash dash layer 10,000. This is the line that we want to adjust. So we're gonna go ahead and go right after the dash B, and we're gonna delete the dash B, and we're gonna delete the both, and we're gonna delete the dash zero. 
and we're going to make sure that there's only one space after player and in between the uh, the two dashes and then the layer. So it should be OMX player space dash dash layer 10,000. Other than that, you're done. That's going to solve your problems. You're going to hit control X to save it. It's going to ask if you want to do that. You're going to type Y and then it's going to ask you if you want to rename it or what you want to name the file. You're going to leave it as is and just press enter. That's it. We're done. So now what I'm going to do is type in sudo reboot. And what that's going to do is it's going to restart our Raspberry Pi and it's going to replay me the splash screen and we should see it with absolutely no problems. So I'm going to go ahead and press enter and then we're going to watch that happen. So that's it guys, that's how you fix the video splash screen problem. It's pretty simple, like I said, depending again which version of RetroPie you're using, you need to either use the line of code that I had done myself or the one that I verbally said and I put on screen. But other than that, that's it, it's pretty simple. Uh, make sure that you guys give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Uh, be sure to check us out, we've got lots of awesome new videos coming out. I've got a really good video of a really awesome Raspberry Pi case that I found. It came with a couple other cool things like a fan, so I'm going to show you guys how to physically install like a, an actual fan on your Raspberry Pi um, and how to connect that into the GPIO pins. And I've got a video coming out that is going to show you guys how to set up PlayStation properly on your Raspberry Pi as well as setting up Dreamcast. Uh, which is one that not a lot of people do and not a lot of people are able to do correctly So I'm going to show you guys how to do that But other than that, that's all I've got for you guys. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll talk to you again soon